So as you all know, Nintendo doesn't necessarily have the cleanest reputation when it comes to their YouTube affairs. They've had quite a history of, you know, taking advantage of certain YouTubers and uh, monetizing things, even though they fall under fair use and a lot of other stuff like that. But they did take a policy to try to clean up their act on YouTube a little bit more. But now we're seeing a totally unexpected move, or rather there was rumors about it, but we're seeing an official move by Nintendo made to make their own YouTube partner network or something along those lines. Kind of crazy. We're here at The Verge right now, which is an awesome, uh, it's an awesome YouTube page, but I mean, I didn't realize that they had such a pristine, robust news reporting section of their website as well, too. Anyways, Nintendo is finally sharing ad revenue with YouTube users. And um, this is a big story because, you know, I'm a content creator myself too, and for any of you guys who I may inspire to be content creators, it's important for you guys to know exactly where is safe to go, my opinion on certain things and whatnot, because I look at you all as, you know, a huge percentage of you probably going to make YouTube channels in the future that will be the ones to take over after mine, you know, finishes, you know? Who knows? Either way, I'm going to make things a little bit easier for you. Let's go through this whole Nintendo YouTube policy thing. Nintendo has just launched a beta for what it's calling its creator program, an affiliate program for sharing ad money with YouTube content creators. Sounds good so far. Essentially, anyone who's part of the program can create YouTube videos with featuring Nintendo footage from games and split the advertising money with Nintendo. The user will get 60% of their revenue on individual videos, but can also register Nintendo um, dedicated Nintendo channels to earn 70%. Nintendo notes that this rate may be changed arbitrarily. So 60% of the revenue goes to the user while, um, you know, I mean, that's not really too bad. For most entry-level channels, like if your channel is just starting out, you're getting your first um, contract with uh, a YouTube network somewhere, they'll usually give you at the lowest a 60-40. Maybe sometimes you'll get a 70-30. But um, not right now I have a hundred. <laughs> but I, but I, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to freaking stun on floss on anybody because you know at this point my channel's a bit more grown. So obviously you know I get a little bit better of an offer. But you know for most of you guys, 60/40 is somewhat of the norm for a smaller base channel. So that's there's nothing really too much of an ivory uh, eyebrow raiser there. This is a strong departure for Nintendo, which in 2013 controversially claimed all ad revenue on YouTube videos that featured copyright images and footage in its games. That was a crazy time, and that's what I was mentioning in the beginning of the video. Nintendo, y'all ain't got the cleanest shit when it comes to your YouTube management. Um, it was a move that angered multiple YouTube gaming personalities. Until their claims are straightened out, I will not be playing their games, Zach Scott, whose YouTube channel boasts more than 1.3 million subscribers, wrote at the time crazy. In the past, Nintendo, in the past, advertising proceeds could be received for videos that included Nintendo copyrighted content, such as gameplay, went to Nintendo according to YouTube rules, the company says. But now, through this service, Nintendo will send you a share of the advertising proceeds for any YouTube videos or channels containing Nintendo copyrighted content that you register. So you can sign up to join while still in the beta, and the creator program will be launching in full on May 27th. So... That article is actually pretty damn vague. We need a lot more information about this if we're going to really break it down. So let's see here. It's kind of cool though, you know. Nintendo's making some really robust moves, man. Like they're shutting down their <laughs> they're shutting down their rewards program and replacing it with something more efficient, according to them. And now they're launching a YouTube um, creators campaign thing. You know, this is actually pretty impressive coming from them. You know, the guys at Nintendo Japan really hard asses and usually have sticks shoved way up at them when it comes to their online management and protecting their um, protecting their um, their content but seems like they're trying to make a turnaround for that now so join now receive part of the advertising proceeds for your Nintendo related YouTube videos now I of course am not going to do anything in regards to this I'm going to do a little bit more research myself but let's see what the details are about this whole thing okay so here we are right there. About the Nintendo Creators Program. The Nintendo Creators Program is a service through which Nintendo gives you part of the advertising proceeds it receives from YouTube for Nintendo related YouTube videos. Okay. So you are the video creator. Your advertising venue revenue goes to Nintendo. All of it goes to Nintendo. And then they give you some of it back. In the past, advertising proceeds that could be received for videos that included Nintendo copyrighted content went to Nintendo according to YouTube rules. So they're basically saying, before, we took all your fucking money. But now through this service, we'll take your money and then give you a little bit of it back. Just as, you know, hey, and it'll be okay. You know, yeah, that sounds like a great plan to me. <laughs> sounds like a great fucking idea to me. Oh, man. You see, now, this is the thing, because 
the thing that a lot of other content creators are scared about with this whole thing is that once Nintendo launches this, they might make it so that the only way you can upload Nintendo footage is through this service. So this could be their plan to try to take everyone's money if you upload anything gaming related to Nintendo. And it's a little bit scary. Like what if, you know, I'm with broadband right now. I'm not exactly 100% sure of all the contracts that we have in Nintendo, but I know we have some contracts with Nintendo. So would it mean that I would never be able to upload anything Nintendo gaming related on broadband and I would have to be using this service? It's kind of crazy, you know what I mean? And the whole copyright claim thing and the whole um, revenue share is always so biased because what if I use just a small snippet of a Nintendo song in my video that only lasts for like, what, 20 seconds just to like, you know, make a point or make like, or for demonstrational purposes and they take the revenue share of the entire video? I don't think that's fair, but you know what, the future will tell just how effective this is. I won't be partaking in this, but we'll see by May what happens. May is my birth month, so you know, who knows, I might just have myself a bad birthday if I figure out that I can no longer upload Smash Brothers videos, but we'll see. At the end of the day here, I think that this could be a beneficial program because it may increase the leniency that Nintendo has with YouTube creators and is they're actually embracing them now. And I guess a move like this is better than nothing at all. So props to Nintendo in general for just acknowledging that, hey, YouTube creators, these guys gotta live as well too. And you know, I mean, these guys, they love our products, but you know, they have to make an income so, you know what, why don't we make something so we can both benefit from it? We'll just take all their money and give them a share of what we, um, you know, get, what we think we deserve. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, guys, so let me know what you think about this in, uh, in the comments. I know a lot of you guys aren't exactly content creators, but the, for those of you who are, what do you think about this program? Can you see yourself using this? I don't know. For me, it's still hazy, but we'll see what the future holds. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And, of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.